layers in substance painter is similar to layers in photoshop so in lesson number seven we will see these layers inside substance painter in more detail what kind of hairstyle would you like do you want 1980s style i want layers please okay now in lesson seven we will go through the layers in detail so as you all know by now there are two layers fill layer and then you have a regular layer let's first see a fill layer so when you click on the fill layer you will get an empty layer over here which have a toggle for visibility and a toggle on and off then you have the name of the layer whatever you want the name you can give you have blending mode over here okay right now i'm using normal then you have opacity over here on the top we have here channels right now i'm in the base color channel okay which is basically what we usually use when we are texturing okay now on this property side usually this one uh, used to be here by default but i docked it just like from here to here so that easily i can work you can do as well depending on what kind of screen you have okay here we have other properties as well now i can write here base okay the new one i will can i can rename it here and i can make another fill layer over here and i can call it strokes inside the strokes what i can do is that i can add uh, some strokes some paint over here okay now as you know if i will start painting it will not allow me to paint okay that's the issue over here so what i can do here is that i will uncheck all of them except for color because i will i want to paint so painting doesn't have anything to do with the normal with the metal with the rough or with the height so i can uncheck one by one all of them or i can press alt on my keyboard and click on the color okay those who are using mac they can press the apple key and press color and those who are using windows they can press alt key and the color and you will have this one so here i have only the color activated so i can only see the color but still i cannot paint so how to apply paint over here to apply paint over here i have to add a painting effect to my fill layer so i can go to this effect option add effect it's like a magic wand and then i can go to add paint when i go to add paint it will now allow me to paint inside the fill layer so i can start painting now okay i can choose whatever brush i want let me undo this one i will take uh, some normal brush okay so i will go here i will go to the basic brush okay and then i will double click it here i don't want this inside my basic brush okay and i can have a different kind of color something like this kind of color and i can paint directly inside the fill layer so you can also paint inside the fill layer but just you have to add the effect okay so this is the best way for extra flexibility and this can add multiple effects for paint suppose uh here i have let me undo this maybe i will draw square okay now i can go here and add one more paint layer here i can draw circle so this one is circle this one is basically square so i have a flexibility of this i can change the blending mode of any one of this maybe i want this to be linear burn okay and i can change the opacity of this one so it will only affect this one the circle and it will not affect the one which is the square so an extra uh, flexibility it will give you if you are applying some kind of extra material extra stuff to it so i hope guys you have learned about this uh, fill uh, layer now so let me delete this fill so i can create a regular layer over here inside the regular layer it's just simply you can paint okay but also you can add some effect inside it let me undo this okay so inside the paint also i can add a fill layer so in a fill layer you can add a paint and in the paint you can add a fill so when you will apply a fill over here you can see that we have the same sort of fill effect over here okay so you can go you can take a material suppose i want a base brass pure uh, material okay and if i will drag 
it here. So what it will do is that it will create a new material layer, which I don't want, which is a fill layer. Okay. But as I am inside the fill, the one that I added in a painting layer, I can simply go here. Okay. And drag it inside this material mode option. Okay. And then I will be here. So I can go back to my base layer. Okay. And then I can uh, uncheck uh, all this except for the color okay and then i can work over here if i if i want okay only what i have to do is that because as fill is there so it won't show it will overlap so i can simply go here add a paint layer again okay, it have to be on top of the fill okay now i can paint here as well so this is a good thing you can do with the paint layer but when you apply these effects so almost the paint and the fill layer becomes uh, like same. Okay. So that's one more flexibility about it. So I hope guys you have learned uh, more about the paint effect and the uh, inside the fill layer and inside the paint layer and the fill effect inside the paint layer and the fill effect. So uh, if you have any questions, you can leave in the comment section. And please subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed yet. yet. And next class, uh, we will learn more about. And also click on the bell icon. And please watch my old videos from the starting to beginning. And please don't forget to watch my videos completely online. Okay, don't download them. So I will be very happy if you will watch them online because it will save a lot of watch time hours. Uh, it will give me a lot of watch time hours, and it will. Uh, uh, encourage me to do a lot of things okay like a lot of new tutorial and stuff thanks everyone and take care we'll meet in the next class